Hello boys and girls, I'm Remote Leg. Welcome to the adventures of Billy Coconut. This is a story of Billy Coconut. Billy lived in a magnificent palace by the ocean. It was full of many cozy rooms, each painted in cheerful bright colours, with fluffy feather beds and the smell of freshly baked bread. Billy was a tall, handsome boy with long blonde hair and big muscles. Billy's house was built on a beautiful crescent beach of blue water and yellow sand, where Billy's friends often came to laugh and play in the sparkling waves. Billy had some nice neighbours. They were Mr. and Mrs. Walrus. They liked Billy very much. Hello, Walruses, said Billy. Hello, Hello Billy, Billy, said Mr. and Mrs. Walrus. The Walruses crowded around Billy and welcomed him to their home, asking him questions about his day and making him feel very happy indeed. After chatting for a while, Billy decided he had to do his chores for the day and it was time to go. Billy had a very important job cleaning the beach. Such a beautiful beach needed lots of care to make sure it was always as wonderful as it could be, and Billy tidied it every day. He always placed the few pieces he found in the trash bin for collection. On this day, Billy was collecting driftwood by the water when he found a strangely shaped shell. Billy had never seen such a fine looking shell. He picked it up and said to himself, Surely this must be a magical shell of great power. I wonder what it can be. Billy thought it was such a fine shell that he decided to keep it for himself. Surely nothing could go wrong. Billy thought, I bet Mr. Wizard will know what this shell is. He's very clever. And so Billy went to town to ask Mr. Wizard about it. As soon as he saw Mr. Wizard, who was perhaps Billy's best friend, Billy ran up and cried, Mr. Wizard, can you tell me what this is? It's a very pretty shell. Mr. Wizard was very clever indeed, and he looked carefully at Billy's shell. But even he wasn't sure. He said he was sorry he could not help, and Billy should take the shell far, far away, perhaps to another wizard, or the king, or another province, preferably one far away. And so, amid the cries of the townsfolk wishing Billy a safe journey, Billy set off to prepare for the trip. Billy decided to pack one or two flasks of mead to warm him up on those cold nights and some food to keep his strength up. The big world was a dangerous place, so perhaps a small weapon for protection was also in order. And finally, he was ready to leave. But it had gotten dark while Billy was packing, so he needed something to light his way, and perhaps some warm clothes to warm off the night chill. Now he was ready. He was going to set off when Billy decided, it's too late to leave now. I will wait until morning. So Billy headed back to his house and warm bed, but the townsfolk thought this was a bad idea and convinced him that he should leave right away. Well, said Billy, I guess I'll make an early start. And with that, he set off to see what he could learn. Click the like button to become Billy's friend. Click the subscribe button to join Billy on his adventures.